do ba do 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 sharky breath. He plays video games. Hello, welcome back to Night in the Woods. Okay, so... It's been suggested to me that there are a couple of things in the extras menu that are definitely worth checking out. And I actually never even opened the extras menu, so I'm gonna do that. Let's see what we got here. Play Longest Night, play Lost Constellation, view concept art. Okay, okay. But I'm guessing Longest Night and Lost Constellation are the things that we're here to see, yeah? Yeah, probably. Longest Night, that's the Christmas alternative, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, let, let's start there. In December of 2013, a few short months after starting work on Night in the Woods and three weeks after a Kickstarter ended, we decided to release something small. We wanted to show that we were in fact making something. So many ideas just stay ideas after all. And we wanted to have something out there that we'd released. Sometimes you just need to complete something. The team had a little less than two weeks before all parties left to visit family in the, uh, for the holidays. Longest Night came out out of that, our first supplemental game. It ended up planting ideas that would grow into tall, weird idea trees later on in Night in the Woods. Okay, so it's kind of like a, not a prequel exactly, but it's like, this is where it all started. It's like, um, oh, what do they call that? Like a pilot episode, almost. Almost. Anyway, okay. Got it. Longest Night. Night in the Woods. May does look somewhat more nightmarish if you make her eyes green like that. <laughs> Oh, hey. Look who it is. Why aren't I cold? Fire! We have a fire! I mean, that does make a difference, yes. We have reached that level as a civilization. Oh. I'm bored. Feels like we've been here forever. Oh, we should do the Longest Night Constellation thing. Wow, really? I haven't done that since I was like six. No one has done that since they were like six. Well, I don't remember being six. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't remember much before like eight and a half. That's very specific. B is a synthetic life form created at age 8.5. This makes so much sense. Beep boop B. One zero zero one one okay, whatever I'm done. Can we just do this thing? None of us knows enough about the constellations to even do it, B. I might, I might. I didn't no, I guess this is well, this is a big prequel thing. I don't know. Yeah, B. I do. <laughs> Actually, that tracks. The scout guy probably does. Yeah, okay. Go for it. Since when? Since always. Now listen up, dummies. We're going to school. Space school. All right, space school. Let's see this. I can't see anything. We're pattern finders. Find some patterns. Uh, okay. Finding patterns. Um... Oh. Okay, so it's it's sorted by like the tone of the uh, instrument. Got it. So that's how you can kind of tell which ones are meant to stick together. That in proximity, of course. Like that. Okay. Even the first singer. Ever seen the opera based on this? No. Oh yeah. Uh. Sure, let's go with yeah. We watched it when Mr. Olmers was out sick those two weeks. It's like super long. There's an awesome part where Eben drinks the ocean to make the fish cry. So he can finally hear their voices and teach them to sing. Drinks the ocean to make the fishes cry. I mean, I feel, I feel like, yes, the fish would be somewhat distressed by that, but, um... There's, I feel like some other side effects would come from that, but okay, it's a legend, it's fine, don't worry about it. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard! <laughs> Yeah, but it's the good kind of dumb. Opera's kind of like that all over. Okay, so we got even the, even the first singer. Huh. Okay, so just these these beepers here. There's only three of them. I guess we just link them together and see what happens? Okay. Marma Marmonodes, the little king. He was, um, a king who was little? I don't know anything about this one. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Apparently, a little king was big news back then. I don't think he was even supposed to be all that small. Stop the presses. So there's this king, right? But get this, he's slightly smaller than you'd expect. <laughs> he wears small shoes. Let's immortalize him in the night sky, given his small shoes. I'm kind of short. 
May Borowski. Constellation. Borowski. I can never pronounce my own last name correctly. It's fine. Nah. Everyone who picked the constellations is dead now. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Whoops, that one's out. That one's not in. Okay, so we're just making like a bow tie looking thing? Uh oh. I am betrayed. Okay, here we go. So, sort of like a square Pac Man looking guy. Whoa, not at all. Lucio. Lucio. Lucio? Lucio. Not sure. Anyway, yes, Lucio. Oh, yeah! Who? What? <laughs> How about what? Lucio the Fox! Scourge of the French countryside. Yeah, totally French. Totally a scourge. Why does he have a spear through him? The candle that burns twice as bright gets speared through the guts. <laughs> That's how that phrase goes, absolutely. Beautiful. You can see why this one is so popular. Because violence, that's why. Is that a different... Yes, yes, so it's just these these triangular ones here. Kind of like a more air noise going on. This is it. Um, Quinona, executed by some king somewhere. Apparently via beheadle, huh? Her head continued to speak against her murderers for years. That's an impressive talent. That's pretty sweet. Ugh, you'd think, right? But in the story, he's portrayed. she's portrayed as annoying. Like she was being a martyr. About literally being martyred. They eventually put her head in a trunk and threw it in the river. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Jeez. What did she do? Um... What, what, did, what did she do? talked out loud in public and they just couldn't be having with that oh is that all that was enough apparently supposedly if you put her your head underwater in some river in italy she'll tell you about her murder they renamed it the river of guilt i see but not like the guilt of her murderers more like she's giving you a guilt trip or something stupid yeah that sounds about right Ugh. this constellation is garbage Chop my head off, I'll bite yours off. <laughs> Happy longest night, everyone! Moving on. Right, okay. So all these fluty ones seem to go together, huh? Ooh, and even out here, too. Which a big one. Okay, so starting here, then. Okay, and then... No, oh, that ain't, huh? Like this, maybe? Kind of almost a bone-shaped thing. Well, not quite, but... What do you mean? Does it have to go like this? Huh! Okay. Inventorous, the inventor of music. Nice beak. Reminds me of Germ. Kind of. Yeah, I guess I can see it. It's a little bit more formidable in the top, but that's okay. <laughs> that's also one of the one of the only acknowledgments of us all being beast people that I've seen, you know? Because usually it's just kind of like a background thing. We are all in fact beast people, but like, that's fine. It's normal. But we have beaks. Some of them. Some of us have beaks. There are the occasional... There's the occasional beak. German's name musical, like at all. Who? Germ? Why, why don't I not know who Germ is? Because it's a prequel work. Don't worry about it. Germ? Like, Germ? Weird Germ. Yes? How do you know... I think May's getting sleepy. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Clearly I know who Germ is, but... Prequel, prequel works, you never know. Okay, it looks like just these three together, huh? It's a fish! A fish. And? Just a fish. Pretty self-explanatory. Huh. Fun fact. Fish is my sign. I think that means you're adaptable and smelly. I think that means you're a failure in all things. <laughs> How about we go with adaptable and smelly because it's not quite as negative as that. <laughs> Got one of those right. Got one of those right, huh, Captain? Got a manly musk going here. You smell like that stuff I got you, finally. Ice hawk. It has a picture of an ice hawk on it. I mean, well, it should. I smell quite masculine. Like an ice hawk. I think you smell nice, Angus. Like an ice hawk. Thanks. What's an ice hawk? We're not telling. You've missed the purpose of the exercise. Okay, so that's a very different one. Let's, let's get these triangles here. Triangle. Done. I remember that one, but it was it's Tolmatron now, it's different. Tolmatron. It rings at the end of the world. And Mundy shakes everything off her back. And I think it all catches fire too. It all makes sense made sense back then. 
back when people were like wicked dumb. Yeah, I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but people were super dumb back then. It's all relative. And full of dumb people. Beautiful dumb people. Beautiful dumb people. Excellent. Okay, so this we got some like science music. That ain't right. So it's kind of like a little diamondy thing. It's not. Is it another big one? No. Maybe like this, like a hanger. No. Well, what do you want from me then? Like this? Hmm. Is there like another secret? There's another secret science thing. Okay, here we go. Like this. Oh, it's the whale. Monday, the world fish. Back when they thought whales were fish, and you know that the world was was on one. Monday is my sign. Oh God, of course it is. Hey, what does that mean? Oh, oh. Whale noises and the Greg voice is hard. Well, if any of this meant anything, then it might mean something, but it doesn't. So, it doesn't. <laughs> Fair enough, but not very interesting. Boom, boom. Boom. What are you doing? Whale noises! Clearly. Anyway. There's some sort of coral thing going on here. Uh oh, science again. Okay, so probably just these ones here. Like that. Like this. Like, uh, like, like this. Like, uh, this. And then like this. There it is. Harmonium, the head of the singing order of angels. There's a singing order of angels? I mean, I guess that does sound pretty lawful. Ugh, this one. My mom always said I looked like this one. I can see it. I sure can't. Leading so many cranky angels. Grouching hard. <laughs> I'm helping. Across the sky. Okay. Moving on. Great. <laughs> it's interesting to, like, how in, in the fiction of this game, Whenever you discover a constellation, everyone can see the picture. It's just like everyone can see that once you know what you're looking at. It's an interesting way to have it work. Anyway. Oops and beeps. Are you sure? Okay, you're not sure. I just did it wrong. Took like this thing over here and there. Oh, it's the fire pope! Rubello, pope sometime in the 1400s. Crazy times. Oh god, I love this one. There were two rival popes. Bello won by opening his mouth and consuming them with fire. <laughs> Is that where the fire thing came from? Also, why were there two rival popes? How does that work? Two different factions of the people who make popes? I don't remember. I don't know. And then he ate them. I mean, fair. What? Bwah! I knew that one! That is amazing. I mean, historically, his extended family poisoned one and stabbed the other before throwing him into a canal. But he did eat them. He did eat them, yes. That is the raddest thing I've ever heard. Chomp, chomp, whoops, I ate you. Now I'm the Pope. That's a good way to work it, I guess. Question mark? Hmm. Oh, there's like a straight percussion one here. There it is. The broken snake, the first thing that talked. What? How does that work? This story has always made me so annoyed. I was totally the kid in Sunday school who pitched a fit over this story. Oh my god, I remember that. You got sent out to adult church to sit with your parents. No punch and cookies for me. Wow, I certainly missed out on all of that. Oh, dude, you didn't even. You didn't even. Okay, so we're not actually going to tell the story of the first thing that talked that is the broken snake, but I, that's okay. It's all right. I guess it's sort of implied. Presumably it was broken because it spoke. I don't know. Okay, this all looks like... This all seems like... Seems like we got a thing going on down here. Like that. But then, where's the last one? Where's the last part? But I tried this and it didn't work, right? Right. So, this? Aha! Corvin the thief. Stole the diamond from the crown of Rubello, the fire breathing pope. Well, that was your first mistake. <laughs> Although, I'm surprised they used arrows on him instead of, you know, fire. Got arrowed to death like 200 feet from the, from the palace. So, he didn't get to be a constellation for being a great thief then. He did not. Screw the man, steal their diamonds. Ah, uh, yes, the revolutionary zeal of kids from the suburbs. Possum Springs isn't the suburbs. Yeah, you need a city to have suburbs. That is a fair point. We're a little bit under that. We're in the dead center of nowhere. It's like a 40 minute drive if you want to buy shoes. Also, I'm 21, I'm not a kid. I think you're younger than me. 
I'm 21 too. We both full have fat. We, we, nah, I can't read it all. We both have full time jobs. Well, as close to full time as they can get before they have to start giving us health insurance. I'll be 20 in like four months. Okay, fine. You're all very serious adults. Okay, so this is the year before the game happens. I see. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Great, serious adults, all right here. All are happening right now. And yet the one amongst us who is actually the most adult-like in the year is B, who is the only one who didn't stick her neck into that particular thing. Funny about that. It's an M, kinda. What do you mean? Okay, so it's a bow tie? Done. The mice writers, invent inventors of written language. Weren't there supposed to be thousands of them? Listen, there's only so much sky. The mice writers are my sign, is that so? I think that means you're thousands of geniuses. I think that means you're screwed. <laughs> Why do I always have these options? Or I mean, of course I do, because, you know, that's just how I am sometimes. Let's go with thousands of geniuses. Accurate. Great. I did it. I found all the constellations. Well, that's all 13 of them. All 13 constellations in the whole sky. Yeah. Yay, thanks, Angus. That was pretty great. You're a big old nerd, Captain. Yes. Yes, I am. You should be a professor. I like to think I fill that role at the video store. Well, I should probably get home. Wait, I just realized that I haven't hung out with you, you in years, B. What? Yeah, not since like seventh grade? We had a huge fight when we were 12. I mean, we did. It got referenced a couple times. Maybe I can get some more inf information about this? I remember it more like you stopped sitting with me at lunch, or returning my phone calls, or responding to messages. Always with Greg. Too cool for me. Sorry, B. Didn't mean to be a friendship wrecker. It's cool, Greg. It was ages ago. Wait, are we actually in space? Uh, I mean, in a sense, yes. Always. But I'm warm. And breathing? What am I sitting on? Tyrannosaurus pattern. I'm sorry, Tyrannosaurus pattern? What? <laughs> what? Oh god, I haven't seen Greg or Angus for a year and a half. Wait. Is this not actually happening? Regret and emptiness. I didn't go home for longest night. Laundry day. Apple juice tastes from when you threw up earlier. You have to call home. You don't want to call home. It's too late to take the bus. This is getting real weird. <laughs> Am I asleep? Am I unconscious? What made you think of me today? You don't want to take the bus. This is your new life. Is it still at new after? Is it still new after a year and a half? I, right, it's the year before the game happened, so I'm at college, aren't I? Underwear adjust. Next year will be new again. Next, next you will be new. Next you will be new again. Huh. Leg stretch. Oh come on, this is getting stupid. Am I seriously? Yep. Well, home's not going to call itself. That was all a hallucination. I wonder if any of those constellations were real. I feel like some of them I'd seen before. Okay, okay, cool, good, good. <laughs> that all seemed relatively in character, but I guess everyone did have a little shred of May in them, didn't they? And that seems to make sense, since apparently it was happening in my head the whole time. Let's play Lost Constellation, though. Keep going, keep it going, keep it rolling. A little less than a year into full-time development of Night in the Woods, we decided to do a second Longest Night game. We wanted to do something in the spirit of the first supplemental game, small, made within a tight time frame, full of things we thought were cool. We had a lot of systems and ideas we wanted to use for Night in the Woods, and this seemed like a good way to do a test run, to experiment, and to once again have something finished. And as with Longest Night, sometimes you just need to complete something. Lost Constellation went from concept to completion in the last five weeks of 2014. Okay. Got it. And the game is set in 2017, is that right? Have I lost track? Maybe. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Go. Lost Constellation. Longest Night. Night in the Woods. We have a new game continue and exit. Is this one a little bit more bulky than the last one? Guess we'll find out. New game. I'm gonna rob the bank. <laughs> you wanna spend Longest Night in jail? Gonna rob him to death. They'll never catch me. There'll be time enough when you're older for felonies in jail. What's a felony? A bad thing they put you in jail for. Not if they don't catch me. Okay, how about a story before bedtime? I'm quite young at this point, huh? Wait, if the game was set in 2017 and this was in 2014, I'm probably 17? So I'm like a, like a teenager, like a late teenager, probably, maybe. 
A Longest Night Story. Sure. But I'm but not a dumb one like Charity Barity. How about a ghost story? Ooh, yeah. All right, then. I hope lots of people die in it. Quiet, kid. I'm starting over here. Long ago in the hills. Hmm. Far from home here, all right. Could just go back. No. It's been a year, and you made a promise. Get a hold of yourself. You're not gonna die in there tonight. You're gonna see her again, and come back with a star. Okay, I'm this guy now. I can jump, which is unusual for not being May. I seem to be moving pretty fast through the snow, too. I guess I'm experienced in these matters. Whoa, gather snowball. Uh, like that. Okay, so I've gathered a whole bunch of snowballs. Great. I've got 10 of them based on those dots in the top left. What do I do with them? Probably throw them, but like, when? What's this? Wow, this fog is too thick. Weird fog. How do you get rid of weird fog? Probably you uh, ring those bells over there with snowballs, huh? Go away, fog. Ugh, how do I get rid of you? All right, let's see here. Ah, okay, the same button to gather snowballs is the, sa is the button for throw snowballs, so... Ah, and I can aim them, too. I'm not very good at aiming them. <laughs> but they do come down eventually. Wait, can I actually get myself with the snowball? Hang on. I don't I had any idea where it was. Okay, right there. Right right here. Right here. Come on, gimme. Give gimme! Give oh, it doesn't do anything. Well, it was worth a try. Bing. Bing. These bells work rather well, considering they um are very broken. Eh, there we go. Does that take care of the fog situation? Okay. That has not done it. Oh, something's happening over here. I should probably pay attention to the thing I have brought. That seems significant. I'm gonna get some more snowballs though, just in case. Are we fog free? Aw oh, yeah, look at that. Mystical business to get through the woods. Hi, cat. Cat, hey cat. Do you live in this forest? Near enough. Can I ask you a question? You're going to die in there tonight. Wow, that is unhelpful. Is it? Where are you going tonight? Go away, cat. Where are you going? I'm visiting my rel relations, but first I'll go to church. That sounds like your standard longest night. Before church, I'll hunt up a vole and eat it. And before that, I'll watch you walk into the woods to die. And before that, we'll say goodbye. Are you so sure? Well, goodbye. <laughs> what are you? Oh, I see. Goodbye. I'm not sure I do see, though. Would you like a snowball, cat? I cannot, I cannot offer you a snowball. Maybe I can? Oh, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. I seem to walk slower when I'm on the bridge, interestingly enough. All right, onward. Where does this happen? Back where my grandparents came from, but long before they lived. Did they have Longest Night back then? They did. What did they call it? Longest Night. Oh. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Okay, into the woods then. What could possibly go wrong? It's funny how I'm so skilled at- Whoa! I can walk up these cliffs at, the, at a faster clip than I could take that bridge, is what I was going to say, but... Are these trees constantly growing? No, there's just a weird shifting perspective thing going on. Okay, anyway. Hello? Pilgrim! Hello, you. I'm Father Patience Forget-Not God. Wow, that is a name. It was gifted me when I was ordained. What was your name before? Butchy Mud. Okay, that's a change. Do you wish to say a prayer at this, the Shrine of Saint Orolony? Who, beloved of the forest god, was shown the way to the chasm and the red bell, and into his holy mountain? You said that all without taking a breath. I did not, but fair enough. I, maybe I should have tried to. You want to pray or not? Yes, why, yes, I do. No, not right now. Um, 
Sure, let's do it. I did hear I was going to die in there tonight, so maybe some guidance is good? I don't know. Sure, let's do it. You may recite when ready. Gracious tree lord, leafy embarked. Exalted bear enthroned above. Enchanted deer monster, hoofy in the night. Okay. Um... So are we praying to the trees, a bear, or a deer? Based on the appearance of this shrine, I have no idea what we're dealing with. It does look pretty wooden, though. It doesn't look particularly tree-y, however. Probably there's one correct answer, right? Well, I've been getting everything else wrong the entire time, so I guess let's, um... Pray to the bear. Exalted bear and thrown above. Bear! I figured the forest god was maybe a giant bear. The forest god is no mere bear. The forest god is no bear at all. Oh. Go! Return when you have been granted knowledge! Uh, knowledge? What kind of knowledge, exactly? You want to pray or not? Uh, sure. You may recite when ready. Uh, how about the tree lord, then? The forest god is no tree?! I thought that, you know, because of the forest. No tree can be a god! I'm not following this line of logic. So what can be a god? Not a tree, obviously! Go! Return when you've been granted knowledge! How about now? Am I smart now? Maybe I'm smart now. Let's pray. I shall recite to the enchanted deer monster, Hoofy in the Night. I'm guessing this is wrong as well. De deer monster? Okay, I'll admit that one was a total guess. You clearly have not known our forest god. Listen, I'm not from around here, and... Go! Return when you've been granted knowledge! Okay. I guess I should have seen that coming. There's probably wasn't going to be a deer monster. Hey, hang on. Hang on for just a second. That was a dead-on shot, and it didn't do a thing. Well, well, that's okay. Carrying around my ten snowballs. I'm prepared for anything. Whoa, what's this? Oh, okay. That's a good omen, I'm sure. Just someone's arm sticking up out of the snow? Crap almighty. Hey, skeleton. Great, skeletons. Nothing can go wrong, I'm sure. I'm gonna be just fine. I wonder when I'm going to be granted that knowledge. The trees are growing again. Huh. Either I'm getting smaller. Hmm, what's this? Looks like a good spot for a snowman. Uh, sure. A good spot for a snowman, you say. How do I... How do I do that? I don't seem to have the option of doing that. Ah, nope, I can't throw snowballs down towards it, so apparently there's no way to build a snowman at the moment, and I guess that's fine. If I find some... No orbs, I guess I'll do something about that. Oh, ho, ho, what have we here? Knock, knock. Whoa, hello? Hello, interested in a coffin? Uh, come to think on it, you are sitting in a coffin right now, aren't you? In the short term? In the long run? Uh, long run? These are hard times. The days are short and the nights are long, and the winter lasts forever. Meaning? Meaning you have a bright future in being a lump in a snowbank. So head west. West is home. Well, east is where I'm going, so... The trees here move. They'll confuse your path. They bend to the powers of the god of this forest. And you'll never obtain their permission to pass. So this is why you're trying to sell me a coffin? I provide the service. If you pay me now, I will collect your remains and bring them back to your relations. You charge in advance for this. I can't really charge any other time. I mean, yeah, good point. Oh, right. Well, I don't have any money. <laughs> no coffin for you, then. And your ghost will be quite unhappy. Whatever. I got snowballs. I could have paid him in snowballs, but apparently I don't care to. Blah. Wait, I can't throw snowballs anymore. Oh, because it... I lost all my snowballs when I stepped inside. It must have been too warm, huh? Throwing stuff at his house does nothing. That's okay. Lot that counts, you know. Onward. Hey, wait a second. That's the same house again. How does this work? Hi. Hello again. What'd you say about my ghost? That th those that die here stay here. Their ghosts lie frozen until disturbed. Oh. All that's left of them are lumps in the snow and the things they brought with them. Gathering frost. Oh, what those ghosts could tell us in these hard times. Can I have a drink or something? No. Great. Hi. I'm gonna come right back in again. 
You let the cold in every time you open the door, you know. I sure do, and I'm doing it again. Take that. Aw, that's it, huh? Okay, that's it. So that house happened twice. Is it actually randomly generated? What with the woods misguiding my path and all? Oh, look who it is! Hi! You wanna pray or not? Uh, do I have a, different, a new option here? I don't think I probably do yet. Let's have a look if I do. I May mean, recite when ready. Uh, there's nothing else here. This is all the same options. Enchanted deer, exalted bear, gracious tree lord. It's not a tree. I know. No tree can be a god. Right. So it can be a god. Not a tree, obviously. Go. Okay, I'm going. I'm leaving. What else we got in this here forest? Hey, look, the skeleton's back. Hey, skeleton. Okay, we're looping for sure. But I'm persisting in going east, despite, you know, everything. Hmm, the lump is here. What's this? Looks like a good spot for a snowman. I mean, it's probably a dead body, let's be honest. It's a lump in the snow, so it's probably a dead body. Hmm, skeleton again. Am I actually supposed to turn back and go west? Because this doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere so far. Hmm. Hey, look at that. How do I get there? Can I actually jump into the limbs of the trees, or do I have to wait for it to sink down to my level? How do I get up there? That's probably been there the entire time, huh? Oh! I, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. I need to throw snowballs. Which, of course, melted as soon as I went to that man's house again. At those lumps in the trees. Like this one right here. Aha! And then this one right here. Aha! Okay, so now we, now we push the lumps. Like so. Okay, so now we jump, hop over. Great, I've done it. And then, one for you. Nice. Is this the forest god by any chance? Oh, okay, okay, let's see here. Um, carrots are a traditional nose, I suppose. But we could also give them, like, ears, I suppose. Like so. Big floppy ears, you know? Might be something. Um... Uh, Rocks for eyes, I would think, right? Because anything else around here is not going to really get you much of anywhere. But he doesn't have a nose, so I guess give him a turnip? Sure, that seems reasonable. Mouth, though. There's nothing really mouth-shaped looking around here. I guess I can give him some arms. Sticks are highly traditional in that sense. There we go, there we go. Kind of little stumpy arms. Wait a second, I can give him bone arms. I can't rotate these, can I? Oh, I can! Okay, you get a you get a bone mouth. Beautiful. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some like sticky up ears because I didn't realize I could rotate things. There we go. That seems pretty good. Okay. All right. Good. Now, since I can rotate things, we'll give you this arm so you actually have some fingers going on. And inst I'm gonna actually just line your head with ears, which is now looking a little bit more like hair. But don't worry about it. It's probably fine. And then. Unibrow, I'm thinking, right? A stern and strict forest god, if ever I saw one. Yeah, this seems about right. This seems about right. Great. I did it. I'm not sure where I got all that stuff. Ah! Oh my god. What am I? What's happening? What am I? Help! Okay. Are you okay? What am I? You're a snowman? I'm just water and garbage! How are you talking? I don't know what anything! You wouldn't happen to know how to find the forest god, would you? There's nothing about me that isn't forest and sky! That's like a poem. What am I? You're like a poem. Ah! This snowman is no help. Well, if at first you don't succeed. Kill it and make a better one! Well, okay, you got that partly right. Which part? Listen up and I'll tell you. Okay, so we are we trying again? So you're what, a ghost? No ghost. Wait, you're no ghost, or you have no ghost. What am I? I guess I don't know how to destroy you. <laughs> How's it going? What is going? Okay then. Great. Fantastic. So I guess we continue on to the forest and see if we can find either the shrine or another place to build a... Okay. What is this? I got a thing and it made a noise. Do I bring this back to this to the snowman? Hi, would you care for a thing? I found one. 
What is going? Okay, cool. Great. So apparently I maybe gave him too many parts sticking out of his body. I think it may have alarmed him somewhat. Understandable. I did give him a bone mouth. That's probably not correct, huh? All right, let's try this again. There we go. Body. Head. There you go. There you go. What do we got here? Okay. We've got this thing now. I'm guessing that's like a central masks thing, probably. But I'm still giving you... I'm still giving you... Uh, wait a second. If noses... If, if carrots are traditional noses, then perhaps it's inappropriate to... Wait, it says yes and no. Oh, it's a planchette! That's what it is. I see. Well, you're still going to get a nose sticking right out of your planchette, and that's fine. You just won't get any eyes on the sides. It's going to be okay. You're going to be just fine. We're going to give you some arms. Like you do. And... Maybe some extra eyes. I wonder if you even count as having a mouth at this point. I'm not really sure. Let's try it. How's that working out for you? Hello? Hello. Are you okay? Well, just before now I was dead. And I'm still dead, so there's that. Oh, sorry. Maybe this means I can leave these woods. And go wherever dead people go? Is that how that works? I think I was in some sort of daze. So the lump was a person, right. And I'm channeling the person by building a snowman on top of them. And this woke me up. If you want to return the favor, I need some help. I can tell your fortune. I can contact the dead. I need to find the forest god. I need to get through the woods. Oh, well, the first part's easy enough. Find the shrine and say North's Canticle. What is that? I wasn't a churchgoer. What, what is the North Canticle? In their wings, in their trees. This sounds familiar. All things die, be at peace. Cease all care, they are coming. God of the forest, carry us. Where did you learn that? We only said it in church twice a week, and also five times a day. Didn't you? I'm not from around here. Once I wasn't either. Listen, I still have some remnant of my sensitivities. What? If you're lost, I can try to point you in the right direction. Thanks. Who are you? I mean, are you a ghost? I don't know. Who were you before? I was a fortune teller and a medium. A real one? Real enough. See, I found this thing in a tree and I knew it had... And then I knew I had to build you here somehow. In seances, we often would hold an object of importance to the deceased. Did it work? Well enough. As for why here, well... Sometimes a grave is the best place to contact the dead. Because you died right here. Mm. Oh god, is this your grave? Not mine. It appears to be someone's final someone's final resting place. Who buries people way out here? The snow? I mean, yeah, obviously. Just like the guy I was talking about. Hi. Not to harp on this and thank you again for your help, but do you know whose body is under you? No idea. I don't think it matters. Just a connection to wherever. Were you, um, somewhere else until now? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't even seem real. This is like a waking dream. This is weird. Yes, it is. Fair enough. Nothing else to say? Nothing else to say. Okay, all right. Well, at least now I have the North Canticle to spout off when I get to the shrine one more time. And look, the shrine, and there's a cat instead of the rat who was here before. I feel like I feel like the local leadership has been usurped. Hello. Um, hello? Evening. Where is... Oh, my God. You ate Father Patience Forget-Not God! No, he left. You're wearing his little hat. He gave me his hat. I feel so official. I hate you. Wait, why do you need to hear this? Wait, is this the same cat from before? And I just didn't give it the same cat voice? It's possible. It's not for me or the mouse. It's for the shrine. Hmm. You are in fact the same cat. In their wings, in their trees. Listen, do we have to do this? We do have to do this. There has to be a certain system. It's fine, I understand. In their wings, in their trees. Continue. All things die, be at peace. Is the forest god only god when I'm, the I'm in the forest? I feel like if I interrupt it now, you're just gonna... Well, it might just let me try again, I suppose. Let me, let me ask. Is the forest god only god when I'm in the forest? 
This forest stretches from the hills below, over the mountains, and up to where they have to build a bonfire to thaw the earth enough to bury the dead. Wow. God of this forest is God enough. Noted. Okay, um, all things die, be at peace. Continue. Cease all care, they are coming. Why are you helping me? I can, apparently I can ask these questions and not actually mess up the North Canticles, so I should have asked the first one, but I didn't, so let's ask why you're helping me. Who says I'm helping you? I'm just sitting here with my hat. Go on. Cease all care, they are coming. Continue. God of the forest, carry us. Should I be feeling something? Something? Like, is this going to do something? You don't feel a great sense of awe and wonder and connection to something larger than yourself? No. Your loss? I feel that when I look at the stars. Back in the world, stars are kind of my job. We're still in the world. Still the same stars, too. Okay, let's finish this. Let's. God of the forest, carry us. Very nice. Ah. So, those snow things are ghosts? Well, they have ghosts in them. Are there ghosts? What do you think? No, what do you think? No, what do you think? Well, I think sometimes people stay with you long after they're gone. Is Grandma a ghost now? <laughs> On the best days, yes. I don't want you to ever be a ghost. Oh, May, I'll be around to see your own kids. No, you won't. Well, May, that's not a very nice thing to say. No, I mean, I don't want ever want kids ever. I want two big woolly barn cats and an old hound dog. And we'll all howl at the moon. Never change, May. And she never did. <laughs> Seems entirely appropriate. Wow, it got snowy out here. Um, I can go into the shrine? How does that work? Oh, have I changed like forest modes? I have changed like forest modes. In their wings, in their trees, all things die, be at peace. Cecil Care, they are coming out of the forest carry us. And now I'm here instead. I see. Weird that the forest god lets me just leave its realm. Hey look at another corpse. I could I could make I can make a couple of snow people. Sure, I guess. Okay, there you go. There you go. And how about this one? Too small? Too small. Ah! Okay. Here you go. Here you go. Got you. Beautiful. Okay. And then... Knock these down. There we go. One for you. And... While we're at it... Oh, that's a pretty big... That's a pretty big one for a head, but it's probably okay. There you go. Oh, it shrank down. How, how appropriate. How convenient. Maybe I should have a look at this next puzzle before I do whatever it is I'm doing. I can't jump that far. Okay. Alright, so I guess we're making more snow people? Hmm. Need to find something special for this face. Probably more in the woods, I'd reckon. Maybe. I can knock these down and see if they're something besides snow snowball. Uh, snow lumps. They're not. Okay. Something special in the woods. Okay, so do I need to actually go back to the other version of reality and then... Am I helping? <laughs> I don't think I am. I probably shouldn't jump off the cliff, huh? I feel like that isn't going to end well for me. Okay, so back to the woods then. Look for special things to put on my snowmans. Let's have a look here. Gather some snowballs just in case. Alright, what we got in here? Skeleton arm. Hey, skeleton. I cannot take the skeleton arm. Okay, so that's not the special thing. That's fine. Aha! What's this? A collar. Okay, I got that. You got anything else for me, Woods? Oh, hey, it's you again. Nothing to say, huh? Well, that's okay. Hey, a bottle of beer! Or something. Something along those lines. I got it. And we're back here. Alright, I'll stop in real quick. Anything changed? Let in the cold every time you open the door, you know. Okay, I'm leaving. Grab a couple more snowballs off into the woods with me. I don't know if I have multiple... Oh, hey, it's you! You're still around, huh? What is going? Alright, sorry about your existence. That's my fault. That's my doing. Terribly sorry. 
Oh, here we are. Okay, let's get back in there. In their wings, in their trees, all things die, be at peace. Cease all care, they are coming. God of the forest, carry us. I do take it rather matter-of-factly whenever I get transferred to this other plane of existence. Okay. So we got the bottle and we got the collar. Interestingly, the collar does not get put on like a collar, but instead, I guess, like a hat? Because I don't have a better idea at the moment. But I'm also going to give you, like, a bone sticking right up out of the top of your head to keep the collar on, see? Because otherwise it'll fall right off. We can't have that. And you, you're getting turnip eyes. We're going to have them pointing a little bit inward. Which means you got some weird green guck coming out of your eyes, and honestly, you know, all of us do, to a greater or lesser extent. So don't feel like it's a problem, really. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. There, see? Looks happy enough, I would say. Need some arms, though. That one, maybe. Oh, come on. There you go. And one like this. Now you can point at things. I have granted you a great gift this day. There you go. How are you feeling? Hello there. Arf! Aw, oh, you're a dog. Wolf! I'm not sure if this is really helpful, but okay. <laughs> your caller said Clancy. Is that your name? Arf! 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 I hope you don't screw this up for me, Clancy. But I hope soon you'll be able to move on to wherever dead dogs go. Arf! Okay, boy, follow my lead. What? How do you mean? How is, can he possibly follow my lead? He's a snow person. Arf! Okay, great. Well, I guess let's get this bottle incorporated into this guy here. Can I have you hold the bottle? I wonder if these arms are capable of such feats. Let's find out. It seems like yes. Well, fantastic. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. In that case, how about some rocks? And we'll give you, like, uh... We'll give you, like, angry eyebrows? Because, I don't know, stereotypes with people who carry bottles around, I guess. I don't know. I'm not above it. There we go. Um... What do I do with you, though, hmm? What do I do with you? I've already done the turnip nose thing, but we could do it again. Now you seem to have some, like, boogers going on. And I guess that's okay. I think you'll be all right. So maybe we just, um... Oh, maybe... Wait a second. Carrot mustache. Carrot mustache? I think yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, and then... That's kind of like a mouth, right? That seems okay. There we are. Great. This guy seems to be just fine. Okay. Done. You got that bottle I gave you? Yeah, you do. Hello there. Hello? Sorry to be abrupt, but I need your help. Wait, where am I? You're on the Forest God's Mountain. Because I'm going to the Frozen Lake. So am I. You're not. Oh. Oh. Listen, by my bringing you here, I think you'll be able to get out of these woods and do whatever dead people do. Okay, that sounds as likely as anything else that's happening. Okay, follow my lead. In what sense, I wonder? I guess we're throwing snowballs at the, uh, the bell over there? I didn't even think about it, but of course we are. Eh. Did it. Hello? Oh, hey. Hello, bear person. Hello, traveler. Travelers! We seek an audience with the forest god. I am God Tender Brown. Who are you now? Well, who are you now? I'm Empress Astra, and this is my Imperial Advisor, Williams. Greetings! and my Archbishop Clancy. Urf! We have traveled long through the night to be here. May we pass through? I should have thought to throw a snowball before I did that. You have a dog for an Archbishop? He's extremely perceptive, right, Williams? That is no dog. Archbishop Clancy speaks the language of beasts. Um. Um. <laughs> do I ask Williams for backup on this, or do I just be like, no, 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 he's speaking in tongues. <laughs> I kind of want to do that one. Signs and wonders. When Clancy was but a child, he longed to bring peace to the beasts of the field. He sure did. Arf! And he was blessed with the ability to speak to them. Why does he not speak to us? Oh. Uh, hmm. He has forgotten how, such is his dedication. He is currently speaking to our Imperial Hound, Dart. I am going with has forgotten how, because otherwise we're going to have to follow up on where Dart is or something like that. What devotion! 
He is a candidate for sainthood where we come from. He is amazing, God Tender. Beautification while he yet lives. Whoever has heard of such a thing? It's a special circumstance. He's not alive, he's a ghost. <laughs> uh, that's a special circumstance? Are you not gonna let us across then? Is this not working? Let's do this, I'm not getting any less dead. Arf? Arf! Okay, great. Um, so are you gonna, are you gonna like, let us in or? Hello, traveler! Travelers! Okay, so I have to get this right, huh? Got Tender Brown, Empress Astra, Advisor Williams, and my Archbishop Clancy. Arf! Okay, we've traveled along through the night. Apparently you've forgotten this entire conversation we had. Uh, Williams, do you want to try and back me up on this? He's extremely perceptive. Williams? Yes, this dog has a straight line through to heaven. Arf! He was born with one ear that was white as the snow, and that's the ear he uses to hear the celestial realms. Amazing! Urf! Yes, we are quite... Urf, urf! Humbled in the light of... Urf, 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 urf. Dear God, either shut that dog up or send me back to death. What's that? Williams was just having an intuition. Clancy's receiving a vision right this moment. Uh, that one. Archbishop Clancy, tell us what things you see. Uh... Urf! Williams care to translate? Uh... Urf! This blindfolded bear... That's me! Burf! Should let the Empress pass. I can do that! Excellent, thank you! Burf! The vision continues! Um... Do you have any liquor? <laughs> no, stop. What? Burf! I, my limited skills can no longer translate. We must consign such wonders to the beasts. The badgers, the stoats, the titmice, the bear children. Amen. We witnessed a miracle on Longest Night, no less. You are most blessed, Empress. You may pass, and I ask that you leave some of that blessing here. Allow me. Cross unto the holy mountain. Great, thanks, guys. I can't believe I've been sober the entire time I've been dead. You sure certainly have. It's funny how that works. Murph! Great. Thank you, you two. You've been a big help. I almost probably shouldn't talk to you anymore, but I'm going to. Wait! Yes? I'm truly sorry, but you cannot see the forest god this longest night. Why not? I... Uh... We... Have already come so far to, for an audience. The truth is, and you must keep this a secret, but... But... The forest god is sick. They are old and dying. And they cannot see you. It might upset them, and we can't risk that. Sick? Dying? How can a god be dying? I do not pretend to know the ways of such things. If only I knew what was happening! We god-tenders are tasked with caring for the forest god, but this, this death, we have never seen its like. Not in the 700 years of records kept since Saint Cecil began, began tending god. Oh no. We thought when the peace came, all would be well. The peace? But centuries of conflict with her have weakened them. And not long after this, and not, and long, not long after, yeah. And not long after, they became ill. Her? Do you mean the huncher? The, the who now? Do not say her name here. My heart is broken. My god is dying. I don't know what my life would be without them. I'm sorry, God Tender. There is nothing you can do, Empress. As representative of the Forest Throne, I say that no power of the Forest God shall bar your way this longest night. As for her, you are at the mercy of the most dangerous creature in the forest. Thank you, God Tender Brown. Go and take a blessing with you. Great, thank you. Okay, well. Well, I can actually go back, can I? I sure can. Why would I do that? Just to harass God Tender Brown and the sick and dying God beyond, beyond God Tender Brown? I should probably not do that, huh? I've got a blessing, so I should move through the forest. Maybe I'll be able to now. Hey there. How you feeling? Back to buy a coffin? No, just getting warm. I'm going to start charging for that. If I don't have any money for a coffin, why would I have money standing by your stove? I don't know, let's ask the free market. <laughs> Fair enough, you got anything else to say? Knock knock. Sorry. Goodbye. Great, okay, so I'm moving on then. Moving on then. Hello, skeleton. How are things? Hey, skeleton. Yes.
music's quite good in this place. Hi. Hey, Sticky. What is Sticky? I named you Sticky because of Sticky. The sticks. Sticky. Yep. Why is Sticky? Why is Sticky? I cannot answer that question, Sticky. Okay, so I can't just take you apart, but are you in pain? You just seem so sad, Sticky. I am nothing. See, I don't know how to interpret that. Like, are you depressed, or are you literally saying you are sticks and ice? I am sticks and ice. Yeah, I still got nothing. I'll be back, Sticky. Sticky, be back. That's the spirit, Sticky. Great. Sticky, e -e 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 -e. you sure are. <laughs> Great. Well, I feel like things have gotten slightly better for Sticky, anyway, since Sticky now has a name. Names can help, I suppose, particularly when you're at a loss as to who you are. Hi there. Hello. I'm looking for the Huncher. I never found her. And maybe that's a good thing. She is not the Forest God. She does not grant passage. She is something altogether more. Nihilist? Is that the word? Huh. She's an impulse playing itself out. She isn't the first, and she won't be the last. What? Oh, I don't know, child. I'm just talking. By the way, just as a reminder, my father's just telling me this entire story is a bedtime thing at long longest night. Like, this is quite a story. You'll never find her hollow without something to help you. And I never found out what it was. Thanks anyway. Be careful, you're getting into something here. I suppose I am, aren't I? Good luck. Great, thank you. So I need something to guide me to the hollow of the hunter. Hmm. I don't have any idea what that would look like. Oh, hey! Wow, look at these guys. How are you making multiple tones come out of a... Oh, because it's an accordion combined with a tuba. Huh, interesting. Or is that a concertina? It might be. Hello! Ho there, traveler! Hello! <laughs> what is your business here tonight? I'm going to the frozen lake. Not much, you. I, I am going to the frozen lake. Well, that's a coincidence. So are we. Blessed meeting. Do you know the way through the woods? We surely do. We are bound for an audience with the forest god. And after that, we have... I'm sorry. After that, we have an arm and fire to light it. An arm? I need an arm? What did you say were you, going to set, you were going to set on fire? Are you going to find the hunch? Wait, an arm? What? <laughs> what about, what's this about an arm? The arm of a dead criminal. Donated, of course. <laughs> oh, Stevenson. And you're going to set it on fire? Yes! And it will light the way to the Hunter's Hollow. Ugh, this forest. Well, best of luck. Best of luck to everyone. Even you. We have enough luck to go around. So, is this your land? I was just saying because you're a king and all. I may be a king. You may be. But there are kings and there are gods. Yes, yes. Oh. And as king, I granted these lands to Baroness Lalopsy. And she sure did die. Sure did. Lalopsy's manner's gone all weird now. Sure has. Last spring, Traveler saw this pale thing come out of the bog there and... Well, let's head out. Miles to go, men. Miles to go. Great. Beautiful forest, don't you think? I suppose that I do think. Fantastic. My condolences about Baroness Lalopsy. Now then, I need to find the skeleton arm. And then light it on fire? How would I get a fire, exactly? Oh, so I have to find the skeleton arm, collect it, and then I have to bring it to the hut of the coffin maker, and then I can get to the... the hunter's hollow, probably, maybe. Something like that. Hello, skeleton. I'm just gonna grab your arm if you don't mind. Well, I need an arm. And that's an arm. If I'm lucky, this skeleton is a criminal. Was. This used to be alive. Now I just need to find a fire to stick it in. Oh god. It's cold. I'm sure it is. I have an arm now. Onward into the forest. I now have a bonus arm. Hey, I found an arm. How you all doing? Beautiful forest, don't you think? Can I speak to all of you? I can not. No. Okay, well, at least I have an arm. At least I have an arm, so that's something, right? Presumably that's something. 
Sticky! Sticky, how are you, my my boy? Sticky! Okay. That's about what I expected. Ah, here we are. A source of fire. Hello, I'm here and I have an arm to stick in your fire. Hello, can I interest you in a... What is that? It's an arm. Goodbye now. I need to borrow your stove. Wait, what are you doing? Putting this skeleton arm in your stove. Um, no, no you're not. Shh. <laughs> there we go, done. It is done. That is messed up. You're telling me. Please leave now. What if I come back in though, huh? <laughs> what if I come back in with my burning skeleton arm? Please leave, you've misused the oven. I mean, you say that, but as far as I'm concerned, I seem to have used the oven for its exact purpose. What else could I use it for, you know? Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, it's getting dark now. Would that be the hunter? This is a great story now. Oh, you like the spooky stuff, huh? You know I do. I hate the other stuff. Well, the other stuff is important too. Hang in there. Okay, I guess. Great. I've made it to the Hunter's Hollow, I think. It seems like a bad place to be. But if I have to go to the Frozen Lake, I guess I have to go here first. Are you the Hunter? Who's that walking on my porch? Hello? Oh girl, it's all over now. Ah! Well, now I'm inside. You could have just used a door. That would have accomplished the same purpose. Great. Am I in trouble? Oh, hey, look who it is. You must be the hunter. Probably the hunter. Hi. There are old bodies in the north where the ground never thaws. Frozen in the dirt and ice for millennia. In some of them, there is a sickness against which we are no longer strong. Someday the earth will warm and the ice will melt. And that sickness will finish the work on us. It began when we were first born. That's a nice way to say hello. Kid, will you please stop that honking? Nope. Fine, kid, fine. I'm going to leave you where they'll never find you. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? I need to get to the frozen lake. Uh, am I? I feel like I'm interrupting something. I think you know the answer. You just showed up. Ugh, we all just show up. Staying is the problem. But you won't have to worry about that, will you? Is that an extremely vague threat? Actually, I need to get to the frozen lake. It seems like an extremely vague threat, though. Her? Vague threats? Oh, I'll get specific with you, kid. I'm going to bury your pieces in a lonely hollow. Not even bury them. I didn't bury the last one. And she did chores. Your family will never find you. Oh, no, not that. Is this your normal dynamic? I need to get to the frozen lake. I do, but is this your normal dynamic? This is the dynamic of everything. No different for her. They didn't even give you a name back at the sawmill, did they, kid? Just kid? Excuse me, the full set name was Sawmill Kid. Well, now you're just kid. They didn't name you? You never realize how little and how much you need a name until they refuse you yours. Huh. I'm sorry to keep steering us back to this. But I must reach the frozen lake. I actually haven't mentioned it yet, though. <laughs> when you're out there tonight, freezing, will you look for my ring? Once something's down in the brambles, I can never see it. I found your ring last week. Oh, so you did. It's my second most prized possession. I keep the most prized in a shrine, so precious is it to me. And so painful. We have to keep the precious and painful close. I feel like we keep getting off track here. I can smell the forest god's blessing on you. If you knew anything, you'd wash until it came off with your skin. When you leave, you're going down into the brambles like all the others. When I have to go outside to fix the weather, because the weather vane got knocked around again. It's a really stupid system you have going there. When I get out to do that, I'll look out on the hollow and nothing will be stirring. And that will be what happened to you. Why don't you just kill me now then? because of that smell. So in other words, it's actually working as intended then, is what you're saying, huh? Hi. What are you anyway? I'm an astronomer, former apprentice. Oh honey, all of those stars in your head. 
They will go out like candles tonight. What are you? The forest god isn't really a god. That doesn't answer my question, does it? I am twice their size. I am twice as real. Honestly, whoever you are, even you're twice as real as they are. Adina. Adina Astra. Oh, hey, I've heard of you before. <coughs> you were one of the desks, Dusk Stars. The Lost Constellation. Right, that's what this is called, isn't it? Ha! A ridiculous name. You named yourself, I can tell. Just the last part. Astra, yes, probably. Now, what would make a little girl change her last name? Nothing you'd understand. You don't know a thing about it. I came from somewhere, as did the woman before me. And we found the cabin, and I fed the oven. And we survived, and then I survived. And the quarrel with the forest god went on for centuries, until it ended, quite recently. Well, shut it, kid. I swear if I wasn't physically present in here, she'd talk about anything. Okay. Are you a witch? What is a witch? You mean the women in the woods? A man in the woods is a hermit, or a woodsman, or a huntsman. They didn't have a name for women who weren't where they should be. So they stole a name they feared and hated, and pressed it onto us. Onto you. The world they use for girls like me is kidnapped. This one, every day, I swear. Won't do chores, back sass, sass mouth. Why not send her back where she came from? That is the one question to which I have no answer. Okay, well, fair enough. We're done talking. I'm sorry, Adina Astra. I know you wanted to live, but I've taken that future from you. And it's mine now. And you can't take it back. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate to hear, I guess. You wanted me to look for your ring? But your ring has already been found, so... Wait, I'm just outside. I can just come back in. No, I can't. All right, well, further into the woods then with me. What else is there to do, really? So that was the hunt hunter, huh? She seemed all right, I guess, <laughs> as these things go. Some of that weird snow is way up in the trees. Need a good, strong wind. <laughs> Just need to control the wind is all simple. How do you figure? Weird snow. So it's, it's way too high up for me to do anything about it, is what you're saying? Yeah. Hang on a second. Why was I able to... There was like a... Oh, I saw the line of the snowball f flying up in the air and it looked like an aiming reticle. Anyway, onward. Not onward? Hmm, good strong wind, you say. The weather vane! The weather vane controls the weather. This has been discussed. Okay, so how do I get to the weather vane? Probably on top of the building, right? Oh, it sure is. Oh, it sure is! Okay, so how do I get up there? Can I jump onto this? <sighs> no, I can't. My jumps are not quite so good as all that, huh? And I just like, ha <laughs> ha, I did it. And the hunter's music has started up again. So. Down you go. Do I? Off the porch, you mean? Ugh. I am not going to die here tonight. I'm just not. I need to see what's in this hollow. I need to get into that house. Okay, let's go. I need to get into that house. I need to get back into the hunter's, ca hunter's cabin, you think? Okay. So perhaps I have to hit the weather vane and then not be standing right there afterwards? Alright, let's um let's see here. So we're gonna we're gonna just break the plant and we're gonna run away. Here she comes. I'm running. Damn squirrels won't take a break. Okay, we got this. That's something anyway. North wind, black wind, wolf in the dark. Um I'm building, I'm building a snow person. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Ugh, this weather never behaves. Need something special for this. Oh god, I have to get back into that house. This is the worst, longest night ever. Gotta say the whole damn thing every time, says the hunter. Okay, so I need to get into the house. Blue fire in the north, I have discovered your secret name. Well, she seems occupied. Perhaps I can just sneak up and get into it. I have buried it deep in the earth, and upon it, built a house. Sneak, sneak, sneak. You must obey this house. I must get into the house. Okay, in the house, in the house. Now blow west! Hey, kid. Hi there. How are you? I can get you out of here. You can't even get yourself out of here. I can barely get out of the attic. And away from that extremely creepy shrine. It's not safe for you here. 
Did you know I made that poison and she never even thanked me? She'll take all the credit for it. What? I know, right? Get out of my house! Aw, oh, man. But we were having such a good conversation. I'm so cold, so cold. No, I'm an astronomer. Those are my skies, damn it. I'm gonna survive this. Okay, okay. So we have to do the same thing. We have to not be standing outside the door. We have to get into the house, and I have to actually, like, steal the thing from upstairs. I need somewhere to hide. In the bushes, I assume. Squirrels? North wind, black wind, wolf in the dark. Okay, she's doing the thing, which means her eyes go all glowy, which means she can't see me, I assume. All right. This weather never behaves. Going, 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 going. Getting, 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 getting. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Gotta say the whole damn thing every time. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I am back. Uh, blue fire in the north. I discovered your secret name. What's this? Oh, there's a, there's a thing. I see. Okay. Hi. Get away if you can. I'll try. Okay. We're going up. We're going up. We're going up. We're up. I need the thing. Give me the thing. I got the thing. Now I leave. Now blow west. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm I'm exiting. Okay, that's done. And then I leave. I leave. S accept it. You're freezing in the brambles tonight. No, I'm fine. I'm good. I got a thing from you, and you don't know it, so we're fine. Ha 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 ha! Unless she does know it, and I don't have it anymore, in which case this is going to be a problem. All right. So I need to. Slap this thing I got from the shrine onto the snow person, I assume. Yes? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, here we go. This thing. Okay. I'm gonna just, um... I'm just gonna slap this right in your forehead. There you go. You get some eyes. Sort of. On the sides, you know. And if you are going to be some sort of version... You're probably going to be the previous hunter, aren't you? You probably are going to be the previous hunter, now that I think on it. So we'll give you a light, nice long nose and some angry eyebrows for sure because you have every reason to be upset because apparently you've been poisoned by a child or something like that. Hmm. I don't know if there's room for a mouth under there. Can we get the mouth under here and then get the nose on top? Yeah, there we go. That's something. That's good. I'm going to give you turnip arms. Ridiculous, stumpy little turnip, turnip arms just in case you get all aggressive on me, you know? you got to be prepared for these things. Yeah. There we go. And also one hair. Because you're a baby. Because you're a dumb baby now. All right. What? No. No. <coughs> no! Oh, is that you? Oh, hey, the hunter. What is this? Oh. Oh, God, no. Girl, what have you done? You... You watched it happen. You watched. It wasn't me. It was this place. It was the oven. It was what you became. I didn't get to choose what happened to me. I was so cold. I was so afraid. I had to survive. And I did not. What is this? Who are you? Don't you dare speak, you waste of a girl. I was her twin. We fled into the woods, identical in all things. Except one. When she pulled my body from the water, the only part of me she kept was the tattoo. I've kept it close to me all down the centuries. I believed in some idea of you that is as long dead as I am now. But you survived. I... I... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. Get out. I'm sorry, I never meant to... Get out! I'm getting out. Yes, May? What is this story about? What do you want it to be about? If I get to choose what it's about, it's not about anything. Huh. Well, that's quite a statement. I'm really smart. Well, you came up with the plan to rob banks. So clearly you're onto something. I want to know what this is about. I think you have to figure that out on your own. I don't like that. Um, am I running away now? I do seem to be through the woods, so I think I kind of accomplished my goal. I just had to inflict emotional trauma on an ancient creature in the woods. No, never mind. We're back here. Oh, good. Hi. Hey! Hey, you. Still alive, huh? 
I just saw the trees giving gives a great shudder, like they were falling into line. And then you walked up. I think the way is open to the frozen lake. What do you think about that? I think you should wrap up any business you have and head east as quickly as possible. Hmm, what business would I still have? I wouldn't pretend to know. I gotta talk to Sticky, though. I'm a bit nervous about the frozen lake. Do you know the story? Not really. Of how the lake was so deep, it went down to the grave, and the dead came to the surface, and spoke with the living? Of how it was so black that it ate the moon's reflection, and how the moon, being jealous, convinced the sun to turn its back on the lake so it would be forever frozen? That is why the dead may be found beneath the ice, for they can no longer leave those waters. Did any of that happen? You're the one going there. You tell me. I guess I will in a little bit if I survive. Hey there, you okay? I didn't have a chance to ask about you, and how you got here. I think I'm gone. I can hardly hear you. Oh. Yes. Thank you so much. You saved my life, fortune teller. I was a real one, you know. It was real to me. Even if... My sister in the walls... Hello? Your sister in the walls? What? Goodbye. What? Your sister in the walls? I don't understand. In their wings in the trees and nothing dies be at peace. He's still scared they're coming God the forest carry us. I gotta check in on uh, Clancy and Williams. Were that was actually their names, or that was just I named what I named them, probably. Arf! Okay. Good no, good to hear. Oh, you're already gone, huh? I hope you're going someplace better. Meanwhile, Clancy is still here. Hi, Clancy. Poor Clancy. Thanks. Hi, how are things in here? How are you faring? This is the worst, longest night ever. Here's to better days. Can I actually... Well, that's the helmet of that knight. Oh no, poor Stevenson. Looks like this thing took a beating from something huge, so... I wonder if there's a head in there? Not checking. Why wouldn't she check? I would. So would I. If I ever find a body part on the ground, I am gonna poke it with a stick. I did that! Th that that came true. That happened. Can't argue with you there. Great. Poor Stevenson. I guess let's get out of here. Sorry about throwing snow. Poor God. Wasn't my intention. Alright. Well, onward then. I gotta find Sticky. Hello. It's me! You're a fraud! Why, hello, nice of you to stop by. There are frozen dead people all over these woods. I've talked to half a dozen of them tonight alone. Either no one takes you up on this coffin business, or you never follow through. So which is it? Huh? You talk to ghosts? Yeah, a whole bunch. I think you got lost in cold and started talking to the snow. No, I've been all the way from the Forest God's Mountain to the Hunter's Hollow, for God's sake. And yet here you are, back at my cabin not more than an hour after you last left. Fair point. Letting the heat out and the cold in. Busy night for you, huh? Oh, go to hell. <laughs> Hell's warm, at least. Good night. But I'm not done yet. Oh, I am done yet. I've been locked out. Sure, whatever. I guess that's fine. Where's Sticky? Where's my son? Hi, you're not Sticky. Where's Sticky? Sticky! If I go far, too far east, I'm gonna get to the next zone. That's not what I want. I gotta talk to Sticky! Where's Sticky? Sticky! My lad! Hello, Sticky. Oh, Sticky's gone. Are you gone already, Sticky? I'm sorry, Sticky. I am sorry, Sticky. Right. Well, at least Sticky is released from this existence that I've thrust upon Sticky. Because honestly, it seemed like a pretty bad one, didn't it? I don't need to go back in there, I don't think. I think I just need to go east of the frozen lake, right? Unless there's one last step, but it doesn't feel like it. The way's supposed to be open. So I said, ah, we're here, we're here, we're in. Oh, hey, look, it's you. I was wondering where you got off to. Hey, cat, figured I'd see you here. You figured right. You figured wrong. How's that? I didn't die in there. So you didn't. But then again, I've never died in there, either. So pardon me if I'm not overly impressed you did it once. You are such an ass. 
You certainly caused a lot of trouble tonight. I didn't mean to, just passing through. Isn't that always the way? I have to go now. So who are you, really? Pardon? You some magical cat? Cat god? Cat wizard? Something? I'm just a cat. I live near the woods. I like shiny things. And I listen. Oh. Your turn. Who are you? I'm an astronomer. I'm a survivor. Um... Has it overtaken my identity, the survivor thing? I have survived. But the stars in my head do seem to be pretty important to all this. However, I'm an astronomer is the obvious answer, right? And I'm a survivor is the new one. But that would suggest that being in the woods has intrinsically changed my being. And I, has it, though? Hmm. I don't know. Certainly my interaction with this, with Astra here has been surviving. I feel like either of these is a good answer. I'm going with I'm a survivor. Where I come from, where I was tonight, I've survived. Survival is good. Steal everything, never get caught. Eat rats, find the warmest barn. Not how I'd put it, but yes. How would you put it? Just get through the damn forest. I like the stars. They're out there hanging in black. Mawkish, yeah. The darker it gets... The hunter, her child, the forest god. Those aren't your business. I know. Leave all of that here. You are in their forest. I'm an astronomer. It may be their forest, but it's under my sky. <laughs> I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said it, ass cat. Goodbye, Adina the Astronomer. Good luck. Goodbye, cat. Happy longest night. Brrr. Cat noises. Do I actually have to go into this lake? Because I feel like that's not going to go well for me. But I'm a survivor, so it's fine. Oh, it's frozen. Of course it is. That makes sense. Probably not the best place to try jumping, by the way. I feel like I would slip if I did. But let's just keep moving. Oh, hey, look, something's here. You know I doubted you would make it. A promise is a promise. How is home? Same as ever. Colder now, of course. The sheep shut down the 5th Street Bridge again on Longest Night Eve. <laughs> the farmers were there all day trying to pull them off. Have they figured out why they keep doing that? No one has a clue. Hmm. I know you can't stay long. I can't, so ask. Okay, did you find the ghost star? I did, my first night dead. It's there. Oh. Oh my god. Something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. It's funny. What is? It's always been there. I just had no way of seeing it. You still can't, not really. But you can chart where it is. That's something, at least. Wow. I feel like just a few feet away, there's this thing, bigger than I can think about, burning away, exploding. And between us is this sheet of black. And when I think about it, I feel like I'm going to overflow. I think about this a lot these days. We devote ourselves to something we barely understand, something we can never touch. We give it a name, and we give ourselves a name for doing so. All of it creates this connection. And that connection, that becomes the thing we can, we can touch. You appreciate those connections even more after you've died. I'm gonna miss you all over again now. Well, on the bright side, you got a star out of it. That's something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. That phrase, it's a good phrase, and it came up in the main game, and I don't blame them for that, because that's, it's a very good phrase. Yeah. Goodbye, astronomer. Goodbye, astronomer. The end. What constellation was it? No one knows. It's lost to history. Did this really happen? Does it matter if it really happened? I think it does. Well, we'll never know. But hearing it happen to you. And that's something. Something, something, something. 
I want to find that constellation. Go outside some night and find it. And tell me where it is, okay? <sighs> you look tuckered out, kid. I am. I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Already asleep. Lost Constellation! That was quite good. A Night in the Woods Supplemental. The, the rat's alive. I forget your name, rat. That's okay, though. You're about to get eaten anyway. Oh, that was good, though. This is the kidnapped child, right? Oh. This definitely was worth checking out, so I, thanks. I appreciate the uh, heads up for not it existing, because I actually didn't notice at all. I hadn't looked in the extras menu whatsoever. Ah. Uh. And you, and me. It actually kept the, the, snow, the snow people I made. <laughs> the dog one does look kind of dogish, aside from the bone sticking out of its head. That's something anyway, huh? Like the woods. Maze eyes are scary if you make them different colors. We know this. It is known. Also, the screen doesn't seem to want to go away. Ah, oh, okay. Hold that. There we go. Save and quit. Got it. Great. I've done it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, this has been quite pleasant. Ah. I mean, pleasant isn't necessarily the word for it, but it was interesting, right? And it was very Night in the Woods. Like, the, the writing style was, was all over it. It's... You'd have these mystical creatures that kind of just talk to you like your, your next-door neighbor and, um... <laughs> it's, it's really good. I mean, sure, the hunter kind of spoke in arcane fashion, but also had to come outside and be like, I have to do this every time. It was, it was really good. It was really good. I liked it a lot. So, the question is, where do we go from here, huh? Well, last I checked, the poll was about two to one do go back in and do the Greg side of things. So it seems likely I'll do that. I don't know how I'm going to go about it. And it may be that making episodes might take me a little bit longer, because I don't want to just, like, have you watch exactly the same thing you just watched again. Mostly I'll be focusing on the stuff that, um, that, that neither of us, well, that I, that I haven't seen. Uh, which may mean that it's going to take me a little bit longer to produce episodes. I don't know exactly how it's going to go. But I, I, I will most likely, at this point, go back in and, 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 and check out Greg's events. And I say just check out Greg's events, but I mean I'll check out the events that I didn't see. So, where I did B, Greg, B, Greg last time, I'll do Greg, B, Greg, B this time. And I assume that will put me on the Greg route? Route? Scare quotes? I don't know, that's what I'm thinking anyway. I'm not sure how it works, but we'll find out. So yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. But thank you for watching this sort of like supplemental little bit. Wow, it got, wow, it's been an hour and a half. Oh no, that means I probably won't be able to get this up on Monday, doesn't it? Ah, uh, shoot. Well, either way, I'll get it up as soon as I can. I guess you know that because by the time you're seeing this, it's already up. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you next time.